Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. A few days ago I saw a movie of uh, Sid Pavey who has his own YouTube channel. I'll post the link here. A uh, big shout out to Sid. And um, well he's doing uh, great uh, stuff with uh, Fusion uh, Trees 2. And it was about a, a field maple fusion project that he did. And because I have one uh, myself of course. Um, I thought well let's get a uh, the camera out and do a little update. This is the tree uh, that I was uh, repotting in uh, the autumn, I think. And uh, well, as you see, the root base is quite okay. Uh, I measured it, I have seven centimeters of diameter here. So let's see what I uh, want to do on this tree and why I want to do it. First of all, let's see what uh, we have accomplished uh, in the uh, in the past years. Well, we have a complete fusion here at the top and I even had to remove a big chunk of uh, wood here which was a, a second uh, top and well yeah of course it's not really uh, attractive at this moment and I even can clean it up a little better uh, like so and then I can clean this up and so it will probably heal quite well this is something I didn't do in the fall because, well, maples are a little um, sensitive uh, about um, dieback and frost and things like that. But you see, we have a complete fusion here, which is uh, very nice. If we look a little uh, more uh, to the f bottom, we see that we have um, wires here who are cutting in and of course we cannot have that so it is important to remove these when you still can and well maybe it will cost a bud or two while removing these but if you don't remove these it's gonna cause all kinds of catastrophes and ugly scars now you see i already have an ugly scar here so what can I do to get rid of that scar? Well, I'm going to make a scar in the other direction. So I'm just going to get a piece of wood away here, like so, and then the tree will react and grow scar tissue all over that. and. Of course I have to do this several times but in the end it will result with a well invisible uh, scar so all of these uh, little wires I have to remove now of course they were useful when we started the fusion because they had to keep the trees together and um, we have another one here and they still do but it is always a question of what do you want and how can you achieve it you see w when i remove these wires now this one is already completely in this uh, in this branch here so sometimes it is possible to just pull it out sometimes you cannot and then you will it will disappear in it but these trees won't move they are fixed now they are going to swell they are going to fuse where they are now so I'm going to do that for the rest of the tree and as you see I have quite a lot of uh, little wires here and here and here and here and here and here where I was uh, getting the tree uh, the trees together so yeah this is gonna be some some five minutes of work so I'll be back in five minutes I chose this uh, side as front um, because I think it is a it has a nice root base here and I also think that the the trunk is a, a little more interesting 
uh, because if you look at this from this side it is a little straight so I think this is an acceptable front but I think I'm, I'm lacking some stuff here so I just um, going to add one more uh, tree I have a lot of spares of this of course it's and the problem is that I have a root that goes this way so yeah that might be a little tricky so I'll have to push this out of the way insert a new little guy here and then I'm going to bury this root as well as I can so I'll need to cover up that part with soil of course just a little bit it's strange you see I have a uh, new seedlings of this field maple also and it's uh, probably a seed from last year because well I did not plant new seeds in this pot this year so I'm going to press the new one in here and that's about it so of course now uh, what I need to do is uh, all these new seedlings well they're doing quite okay so they are going to grow they're going to get thick and then they're going to fuse and I'll be very happy so but now um, about the pruning I'm zooming in again on the top just to remind you that this part is completely fused and as you see even on the fused wood we have new shoots what's going on well you see we have a whole lot of growth here lots of new buds emerging from every spot and then we look at the bottom and we see we do not have that we, we have quite a new uh, number of uh, green spots here because these are new seedlings and that's the top of the tree so that's very good and they will help in the uh, thicken the fusion but what's going on in the top well this is a broadleaf tree and broadleaf trees they like all other trees they tend to say that if I'm small I'm going to be a big tree one day so they grow and they make a whole lot of growth at the top to get to the light that's a normal uh, natural reaction but that's not what we want because if this part of the tree continues to grow it's going to get big fat and we will lose the proportion of the um, and the taper we, we, we want so what I need to do in the top is really get the top as small as I can I'm going to remove all the terminal buds. This is something growing to the inside. I don't want that at all. So this will have to go completely. Here, just pruning back to one or two buds. That's really all I'm going to need. And as I go down on the tree, I'm going to uh, let a whole lot more foliage so that the tree can fatten and that's it so cutting back all this stuff in the top This is supposed to be the new top, so I'd like to have some foliage at the back, but this is going to block it all. And here in the coming weeks I will do a selection of the new buds that are coming out. So now what I have to do is to uh, apply some uh, raffia strings to keep all the stuff here uh, in place. Another thing you can do is block some trees with a little mud. This is just garden soil. If you get it wet, it stays where it should stay. 
and it helps when you have to uh, apply raffia. So that's quite it for today. I just have to apply the raffia like I told before, but I'm not really in a hurry. I can do that tomorrow or in a day or two because it's you know, rather chilly today, so it's no, not a whole lot of fun to be outside. So, um, well, I think this is coming along quite well. I think at the end of the season we will have some more fusion and then next year I can um, again do a selection of the branches and probably I leave a few big branches uh, for different purposes. I could use them as, um, as sacrificed branches or I can use them to start building the crown because this is supposed to be sort of broom stylish with multiple trunks and big branches so what is a branch what is a trunk well well you most of the time you have one trunk but if i let grow this this could be a secondary trunk or a big branch it is all uh, just a matter of giving it a name so that's it for today so thank you for watching and see you next time <laughs>